Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. And in this update, we are going to check out internet computers price chart and see what is going on in the short term. And specifically, we are going to check the recent phase up. But before we get into all that good stuff, at the beginning, we are going to talk about this new update that ICP just published. And I think this might change how the network handles trust and privacy at the hardware level. Why? You see, ICP is rolling out something called Trusted Execution Environment or TEE. Now, if you have never heard of this, okay, here is a short version for you. This is basically a security feature built into modern CPUs. Specifically, we are talking about AMD chips in this case, which is able to encrypt every single thing, leaving the processor itself. And that means, my friends, memory, disk, even the stuff running in RAM is completely going to be locked down. Now, the version that ICP is using is called SEV, which stands for Secure Encrypted Virtualization. And this lets you run an entire virtual machine inside a protected zone where even a node operator cannot peek inside. And this is not just about hiding data. No, it also lets you proof that the machine is running the exact same code that is supposed to which is very very important so question what does icp actually do with all this you see number one this makes http gateways verifiable and in case that you don't know what are these basically these gateways are the bridge between smart contracts and your browser and before this update you had to basically trust that the gateway was absolutely honest now however you can cryptographically check that it is running the correct code and this part is already at the moment live second this also protects the key shares held by each node and in case you don't know icp is using threshold cryptography meaning no single node holds the full key and with sev those partial keys are now even locked inside the cpu which is going to make it extraordinarily hard for anybody to tamper with them even if they control the machine itself and number three once all the nodes in a subnet are sev enabled the canister states and we are talking in here basically about the smart contract data gets absolutely encrypted so even if a malicious node provider tries to snoop they won't be able to see anything in here now you might ask well okay why is this actually important you see this is in my view a huge deal not just for developers but also for anybody who cares about trust privacy and security on chain and first off this update like we said earlier making it possible to verify what kind of code is running and if you are for example using an http gateway to interact with a smart contract you are no longer blindingly trust that gateway no you can check that it is running the exact same code that is supposed to and that actually is a huge shift from trust me to prove it second you see the cryptographic keys used in icp's consensus mechanism are now sealed inside the cpu and even the person running the node themselves cannot access them directly and that my friends means fewer attack vectors number two less chance of insider manipulation and number three a much much stronger guarantee that signatures and votes are very much legit and finally, once SEV is fully rolled out across a subnet, all the smart contracts data are going to get fully encrypted. So even let's say a node provider is going to turn rogue, they cannot even peek into the smart contract data themselves. And that, in my view, closes a major, major privacy gap that most blockchains at the moment even still struggle with. So bottom line, this update removes central points of trust, locks down sensitive data at the hardware level, and makes ICP security model verifiable, not just assumed. And these are the kind of things that, in my view, huge institutions are looking for. So now that we have covered all the good stuff, let's talk about some real issues that with the help of SEV 
can get fixed and maybe some other areas that icp's sev can be useful in them and first there is dap security you see if you are building a DeFi application an identity protocol or let's say even a simple game you want both the front and back end to be tamper proof now with sev you can lock down the gateway and the node so users aren't relying on centralized infrastructure that could potentially be compromised or censored then there's also enterprise and compliance and well banks insurance firms and regulated institutions need to prove that their code and data stay absolutely confidential even when they are hosted on third-party hardware and icp's sev rollout gives them that exact proof that they need backed by hardware level guarantees and also we have to talk about cross-chain services because this is probably another important area that icp's sev can be very much useful let's say for example you are building a bridge or interoperability layer you are going to need i promise you all this great trust and sev makes it possible to verify that the nodes handling those transfers are running clean code and keep data absolutely secure and also when it comes to areas that sev is going to be very much useful i think we have to talk about privacy sensitive workloads and think for example about in this case maybe healthcare records maybe confidential auctions or anything that shouldn't be exposed on chain and this updates well for them is a huge huge game changer because it gives developers a way to build private logic and encrypted state directly into the blockchain layer and finally overall this in my view strengthen the network integrity and even if a node provider turns malicious or somebody tries to exploit the hardware in this scenario sev is keeping the keys and data absolutely sealed and that is a serious upgrade in resilience so what's the bottom line here you see it seems like that icp is trying to embed trust into the hardware and from gateways to nodes to smart contracts it says every single thing is getting locked down and verifiable and that in my view is exactly the kind of infrastructure big institutions actually require so from a fundamental perspective i think this puts icp in quite a bullish position and in the long term i do think this is going to help them just simply attract more and more adoption so i know talking about these things is not really beautiful and i fully understand it's not even going to get a whole lot of likes but please please understand these are the things that you need to care about if you want to know what is going on in terms of fundamentals and for me this honestly makes me more and more optimistic about the future because the kind of things like this definitely suggest that we are overall on the right direction so fundamental wise definitely positive news now what is going on in terms of technical analysis and if you remember the last time that we talked about internet computer i think we were right around these areas and the idea was that this is a five wave down this is a slow move up so you know what maybe we are going to get from these areas another one two three four five in order to take the loss and then yeah okay if you are bullish i guess we can get a move on the upside and that pretty much played out but now pay attention we are having kind of a good strong move on the downside and no we haven't taken this important low yet but i think this seems to be kind of a slow move up so you know maybe we are actually headed lower in icp in order to take this low and that i'm not going to say it's going to confirm the bearish scenario suggesting overall we are having in here a correction structure but let me tell you this it's not necessarily going to be helpful if we go down and take this low and especially this one right in here since when you just compare this small face up to this one right in here timing wise you are realizing that look unfortunately at least so far we are having quite a slow move on the upside let's just measure this in timing wise okay as you can see this move so far is taking us about 300 candlesticks on h1 time frame on the other hand in about as you can see let's say 250 candles we managed to have 
this good move down starting from this high around five and a half dollars so to me this suggests at least at least right now we are not really seeing a whole lot of signs suggesting bulls are going to take charge and send the price higher and higher now i think we do have in here a bit of ascending channel right in here there we go and it's actually quite a beautiful one and here is a very important point there is a chance and focus on the word just a chance that this is going to be a one two setup meaning excuse me let's just take this one this can be let's say one two and then good move up into wave three four five which on a higher degree is going to be into a wave three four five and even that one on a higher degree can be into a wave three and four and five so on and so forth you get the idea but pay attention this scenario at the moment is not really confirmed yet and we cannot even talk about this with a decent bit of confidence however that in my view can change the moment that we get a break out of our ascending channel and i mean we actually go above the upper band of it do a pullback and then we get a continuation of the move up if we do this okay you know what fair enough at that point in the short term i am going to be bullish with like just a bit more confidence and argue maybe we are on our way up to complete a series of wave threes meaning what well probably this move up is going to continue for quite a bit on the other hand though, what you do not want to see is a break down meaning we go under the lower band of the channel do a pullback a very slow and choppy one and then a continuation of the move down because at that point in internet computer we may take this low but much much more important than that we may end up unfortunately even taking the lowest one down here about 4.3 dollars which is not necessarily going to be optimistic and by the way i don't really expect a whole lot of downward price action in icp at the moment why because the price is simply way way too cheap however this doesn't mean that we should expect a huge bull run effective immediately no in fact i'm here to argue that in case in icp we get a good move down and we actually clear all the loss at that point building a bullish setup meaning essentially having a one two three four five a followed by a correction down is going to take some time and you just have to be patient and then when we see something like this you know what fair enough assuming that i am able to identify all the correct subwaves around the end of our correction down in here then okay this can be a great long opportunity in hope that we we'll start the next major phase of the bull run and i want to be very clear in the midterm i fully believe that in icp we are looking extremely extremely bullish because let's go on daily chart okay i think from the lower slope about two and a half bucks this is five wave up with all the sub waves it's actually quite a clear one into a wave one followed by a whole correction structure on the downside into wave two as you can see this is quite a slow move down when you compare it to this immediate bounce back and well this suggests by the end of this cycle we should probably expect at least another strong move up into wave three and maybe after it even a correction for four followed by yet another good move up into wave five but you know what let's not talk about those moves let's just consider this thing right in here which the bare minimum target for it is going to be taking the highs around 21 dollars but i think we are most likely going to go quite a bit higher than that in internet computer so as you can see we do have the perfect bull run set up in the midterm but you know in the short term let's be a bit more patient and careful and even if you are insisting on being optimistic on icp then okay fair enough all eyes on this ascending channel and see what are we going to do with it get a break out of it do something like this great sign get a break down in here do something like this maybe not necessarily optimistic and i hope i explained everything well and you understood what is going on in internet computers charts anyway if you found any value in my content i would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on twitter and if you want more maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto or maybe you want to learn some decent ta in order to be able to make good money in the markets you can become a member and ask me anything you want and until the next update i hope you have a wonderful time with your family and loved ones goodbye